Welcome to a remote cabin in the Scottish Highlands and our home for the next five days. Let's come and check it out. This is a bothy, and that word actually has two meanings. The first is a free accommodation found in Scotland and the Highlands of England. And the other meaning for that is a former residence where people who worked on big estates would have lived. This is the latter and would have once been one of 25 such residents on this farm. Today it's been beautifully restored and it feels more like a luxury experience than a basic shelter. We're currently around a 40 minute drive away from Inverness, which is widely regarded to be the unofficial capital of Highlands. Although it's the biggest town in the region, it's still more like a small village in its feel. And so here feels very, very remote considering that that's the largest nearest town. This place is called Hulet Boffy, and Hulet is actually the Scots word for owl. And that just gives you an idea of the kind of wildlife that can be found here. There's ferrets, bats, all kinds of different birds of prey, and most interestingly of all, all kinds of different deer, including fallow, roe, and seeker. In fact, for 25 years, this farm was actually a deer farm. Today, they just hold sheep and cattle, but nevertheless, lots of deer remain in the area. Today, the former bothy has been restored and so you can see the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room and also upstairs which is what we'll show you in this video. The most important room in the house is the kitchen so come on through. In here, it's much bigger than you would imagine. And the most important thing of all is this Rayburn cooker. And that is for good reason, because actually there is no electricity here in the Bothy. This is completely wood fired and is designed to do three things for the Bothy. Firstly, it's designed to obviously cook food. It's designed to heat up the place because in the winter it can get very cold. In fact, it's currently August and it's still pretty chilly outside, maximum 14 degrees a day. The third thing is it's designed to heat up all of the water here. So if you want to have a bath, wash your hands, do the washing up, you'll need hot water. And that is heated up in this thing, which is right next to the stove. As you can see, you just open it up and oh gosh, it's uh it's not doing very well. Basically, this is designed to run at a continuous heat throughout the day so that you don't have to work too hard in heating it up each time because you use this twisty thing and this, which I think is called a Riddler, to keep it going, which I'm not very good at. Obviously, this isn't enough wood for five days worth of stay. And so each night we've had to go and recharge the log basket at the log shed at the back of the house. It's very cute, but the logs can become quite heavy when you're carrying them around and surrounded by the midges biting you. The kitchen is an absolutely joy to work in because the countertops are all really nice wood. It's very spacious despite being quite a small residence. And so it's really easy to get around. Everything has really been thoughtfully laid out. But the best thing of all for me personally is the amazing views over the valleys and towards Inverness. There's actually a small seating area outside, but we've avoided it for now because it is quite full of midges. Even the rain doesn't deter them and they're quite itchy when they bite you. Nevertheless, it's so beautiful to wake up here, have your morning coffee overlooking the fields, the cows. It's just really tranquil and peaceful here. Next up, we have the bathroom. And while this place doesn't necessarily have electricity, that doesn't mean it's without its home comforts. There's a bathtub and a toilet and a sink, and they all work as you would expect them to. There is also a shower, but because there's no electricity, there's no water pump, and so the pressure is really bad. So you're basically forced to have a bath. The only thing that's a bit unique about this bathtub is how small it is. I think it's about half of a normal bath, which is fine when you're someone my height, but harder when you're someone who's Antoine's height. 
Nevertheless, it was a really magical experience to be able to have a bath here when it's lit just by candlelight. And when I say candlelight, I mean LED. Because of health and safety, you're not allowed candles in the property, but the LED fake candles give the same vibe. Following through from the entrance hall, we've got the living room. This is about the same size as the kitchen and is very spacious but cosy. And so there's lots of nice wood detailing, there's comfy chairs and sofas. In this box, there's a lot of games that you can play. Although there is 4G here, which we were really surprised at, but I guess that's not surprising when you consider we're at the top of a hill. Well, almost at the top, because at the very top, around a 10 minute walk away, there's the remains of an Iron Age hill fort. There's also books in here and a lot of really nice owl themed artwork. I think a lot of the artwork here is actually made by one of the people who owns the property. And so that makes it even more special and homely. There's also a fire here, but in the summer months, you don't really need two fires going because just the ray burn heats up the whole place. And it is very, very warm at night. So it makes it a bit hard to sleep if you have two fires going. The main difference between the kitchen and the living room is that the living room has a staircase which goes upstairs. So let's go up it now. As you can see, this is the bedroom and it's very cozy. It's very comfortable, but you do have to mind your head on the walls because they're very sloping. Each person has their own bedside table and it does get a bit warm in here. As I mentioned last night, I left the fire on too hot for dinner too late. And so it was quite cozy up here because this area has a view directly onto the kitchen. I'll show you. All in all, I've really enjoyed our time at the Bothy and I wish that we could stay longer. The only thing that we missed out on seeing was the shooting stars because it's currently the Perseids and also the Northern Lights. Yes, sometimes here in the north of Scotland, weather permitting, you can see the Aurea Borealis. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.